Hey, this is Redman coming to you live from the world famous Comedy Store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Wow, hi everybody. Make some noise. We're here on a Monday, the number one live podcast in the world. Brian Redband yeah. is here. Brian J. Ebelt's sitting over there drawing tonight's episode. While you guys all sit there enjoying the show, he, uh, he draws the episode. Yeah, and then he sells them on his website, ryanjebelt.com. We just got back from an amazing weekend in uh, Michigan where we did Kill Tony's in Lansing, Grand Rapids, and Detroit, Michigan. And it sure is fun to be home. And uh, yeah, there was only one drive by at one of our shows, only one. In Detroit, yes, yeah. that actually is true. It wasn't at one of our shows. It was outside after the show, but yes, you are correct. Technically, <laughs> there was a drive-by at one of our shows. Uh, hello to the thousands and thousands watching the live stream on YouTube right now, and good day to the hundreds packed into this room, maybe a hundred and a half. Uh, so we're excited, though. And for those of you watching the live stream, I'm back on the road tomorrow. I go to Toronto, Canada, where I'm headlining shows tomorrow. And every single night, new shows added as of today to Toronto, Canada. And we already have a sold-out Kill Tony Friday night in Toronto. Next week, I'm in Chicago uh, all weekend, 10-3 to 10-6. Uh, that's five shows at Zany's downtown. And then the week after that, it's Kill Tony Mania, live in San Francisco. <laughs> Really big deal. It's the first time ever that we're doing two separate Kill Tonys in the same night. That's two Kill Tonys with two different, uh, you know, the band will be doing two different characters. It's two different buckets. It's two different everything. And it's our, one of the episodes, it's our 300th episode. You are correct. It yeah. is episode 299 and episode 300. So if you're anywhere near the San Francisco area, why not make a Friday night out of it? Uh, and then the uh, week or two after that, we're in Swansea, Massachusetts, doing a Kill Tony. And then uh, San Antonio, Austin, Houston, and Fort Worth are all getting your own Kill Tonys in November. And then uh, just a little fun fact, I'm in Baltimore the last weekend of November doing stand-up. And I do stand-up in Dallas, Texas on New Year's Eve this year. So that's where I'll be on New Year's Eve. There will be no Kill Tony, if you're wondering, because it does land on a Monday. There will be no Kill Tony that night. Comedy Store will be doing their own thing. So, uh, yeah, life's good. Doing that road's hard. You it know is. what I mean? It, it, you get tired, you work a lot, it's tough. And, you know, uh, it's hard to stay looking as young and as fresh as Red Band and I do. <laughs> you know, most guys don't do nearly enough for their skin despite all that it does for them. Soap and water are just not enough to prevent aging. But there is something you can do in the fight against aging, and it's staring you in the face. ForHims.com, oh. a one-stop shop for skincare, hair loss, and sexual wellness for men. Hims' new anti-aging kit is a custom prescription <laughs> cream tailored to your skin that can keep your skin looking youthfully smooth by reducing the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. The secret's not a secret. It's tretinoin, and oh. its results are backed by science. <laughs> you know about this. Yeah, it can renew and restore your skin by increasing collagen. That's the protein that keeps your skin firm. It takes seconds to apply, and it's the same treatment celebrities use to keep them and their faces looking young. Except you don't have to visit some fancy dermatologist or pay high prices to get it. Hims connects you with a doctor online who will evaluate your skin needs and can prescribe you a custom anti-aging treatment. All you need to do is take a couple pictures and answer a few questions. That's cool, you don't have to see a doctor, you just take a couple pictures, there's no awkward in-person doctor office visits, and the products are shipped directly to your door. It's your skin. Yes. Do you want to be a face in the crowd or the face in the crowd? Ooh. Order now and save $20 off your first month of Hims Anti-Aging Kit. Lock in those looks now and get your first month of anti-aging for $20 off. Go to forhims.com slash Tony S-C. That's F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash Tony S-C. The letter S and the letter C. Forhims.com slash Tony S-C. What's S-C stand for? I don't know. Skincare, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Skincare, yeah. Good job, Brian. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got it. Uh, speaking of uh, cha-ching, you know, it's important to uh, invest your money wisely. It's a really big deal. And Robinhood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos, all commission-free. They strive to make financial services work for everyone, not just the wealthy. 
It's a non-intimidating way for stock market newcomers to invest for the first time with true confidence. Simple and intuitive, clear design with data presented in an easy to digest way. There's no cost or commission fees. Other brokerages charge up to $10 for every trade, but Robinhood doesn't charge commission fees. Trade, stocks, and you get to keep all of your, <laughs> all of your profits. Uh, there's easy to understand charts and market data. P trade in a place with just four taps on your smartphone. Robinhood web platform also lets you view stock collection sectors like entertainment and social media and curated categories and analyst ratings of buy, hold, sell for every stock. So you get good advice for everything from real professionals. Yeah, and it actually it lets you learn how to invest as you build your portfolio. Discover new stocks and track your favorite companies with personalized news feeds. Get custom notifications for price movement so you never miss the right moment to invest. Robinhood is giving listeners of this show a free stock like Apple, Ford, or Sprint to help build your portfolio. Free stock, that's cool. A free stock. Sign up at ktshow.robinhood.com. That's ktshow.robinhood.com. One more time, ktshow.robinhood.com. You, <laughs> you guys ready to start this or what? Here we go. Every week, I always have two of the funniest comedians in the world on this show. I'm excited about this show uh, because this is uh, two guests who it's their first time ever on Kill Tony, and it's two of our favorite comedians. Uh, make some noise for the great Brendan Walsh and Ben Bailey, everybody. Come on. Here we go. Yeah. Get on in here. What do you want to do? We got Brendan. We got Ben Bailey. Yeah. The crowd goes crazy. Welcome to the show, guys. This is your first time on. I'm pumped to have you. Thank we, you. we love new guests on this show, and uh, we're going to watch some people together and meet new humans. I'm so fucking psyched, dude. I'm going to freak the fuck out. <laughs> I'm in full ketosis right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really? Yeah. <laughs> is that intermittent fasting? <laughs> no, it's, I don't know what it is. I just learned it. Oh, okay. High fat, no sugar, no sugar low, yeah. low carbs. My first day of no sugar and no carbs. I'm fucking ketosing <laughs> out, baby. <laughs> I thought you were saying you had bad breath. <laughs> yeah. I have ketosis, but that's halitosis, right? Yeah, that's halitosis. But keto does make you have bad breath. That's one of the if things. If you're not eating, yeah, yeah, you get that hungry breath. Yeah. Keto halitosis? <laughs> I wouldn't know about it. I have the metabolism of a young god. Uh, we have a band on this show, guys. Uh, every single episode, they commit to different characters. Like, for example, this past weekend in Lansing's show they were uh they were um billionaires yeah, and then hilarious. in detroit they were nerds uh which was the return of uh, you know the nerds very popular uh guest and they were also um what was the other one i don't know that danny brown episode just confused me that was the, wait till you see that episode that was the most fucked up episode we've ever well there you go let's yeah. talk about the uh, the negatives brian uh it's no really no fucked up in a good up. way yeah, no good sure, way sure fucked up in a great well, way yeah. everyone knows that fucked up it means great it's fucked up hell yeah super fucked up <laughs> it was turned down if you will right. uh so let's see what they are tonight throughout the night they're gonna stay in character you know, I never know what they're going to be. The guests never know what they're going to be. So here we go. Here they are tonight. It's the best damn band in the land, the Kill Tony Band, Jeremiah Watkins, Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, and Chroma Chris. Here we go. Wow. They are definitely police, everybody. Wow. This is wild. We've had these guys on before. We've seen them before. Wow, definitely police officers. Jeremiah has a thick mustache. Uh, he really looks like a young Howard Stern. Um, <laughs> this is incredible. Officer, I don't know if that bicycle helmet is fitting quite properly there. Somebody stole my damn bike. <laughs> Uh, then we have the great Chroma Chris over there looking like Hulk Hogan's firstborn son. <laughs> Preemie. Jeremiah has that Wanda Sykes hair or something. Look at that. And then we have uh, Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, who really actually tonight looks like a uh, L.A. police officer. So <laughs> It's a 
first time I've really known what uh, Joel is. So uh, here we go. We're going to watch a show with police officers Ben Bailey and Brendan Walsh. I have a bucket filled with uh, comedians' names. Sometimes it's a comedian that's been doing it a while. Sometimes it's somebody's first time ever. And uh, you never know what's going to happen. When you, if you get pulled out, if you signed up earlier and you get pulled out, you get 60 seconds. You know your time's up and you hear the sound of a kitten. Wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Yes, sure. Extra, yep. There you go. There's that magic button. You guys ready to start this thing or what? It's Kill Tony live from the Comedy Store. This is it. This is where the magic happens. I like this crowd. You could tell people come from afar. Right? Where are you guys from? You in the green shirt. Uh, we just moved here from Washington. Just moved here today from Washington. <laughs> just moved. That's how dialed in I am. All right. Have you, first have you updated your tags yet? <laughs> <laughs> your first performer getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds tonight goes by the name of Patrick Batista. <laughs> Patrick Batista. Oh. Uh -oh. Do we you know what that means. Blacklisted. If you miss your spot, you get blacklisted so he is officially Band. blacklisted Band. in the precinct we have a <laughs> yep in the in the precinct we have a different type of blacklist tony oh i think i know what you meant there all right i pulled another name out of the bucket make some noise for brandon jordan everyone here we go brandon jordan i see movement here he comes One more time for Brandon Jordan, everyone. What's up, everybody? Man, I'm about to be 32 in a couple weeks, man. 32. Getting old, man. I'm start, as I'm getting older, I'm starting to realize the conversations I'm having with my mother are different from when I was younger. Like, when I was 18, 19, you talk to my mom, it'd be like, hey, son, how you doing? You know, are you eating good? Are you changing your drawers? You know, shit like that. Now, when I talk to my mother now, it's all about, hey, son, we're going to have me some grandkids. When are you going to get married? That's it. You know, she finds a way to put it in every conversation. You know, I was leaving the doctor, right? As I was leaving out, just called my mom to see how she was doing. Say, hey, mom, what's going on? What you doing? No, baby, I'm at work. What about you? I'm just leaving the doctor. She instantly broke out crying. Brandon, why didn't you just tell me? I don't understand. What's going on? I'm like, Mom, what are you talking about? Why didn't you just tell me you shooting blanks? That's why you ain't got no grandkids with me. Mama. I'm like, Mama, it don't work like that. <sighs> there we go, Brandon Jordan. Uh, hell yeah. Give That's me the word and I'll cuff him, Tony. <laughs> it's okay, Officer Joelberg. You can stand back for now. Uh, Brandon, how's it going? Is this your first time on the show? No, second time. What happened the first time you were on? Give us a quick little reminder. Did it go better than it did tonight? Yeah, I had a good, better set. Yeah? Tonight? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, I was, Do you I was swear good. to tell the whole truth, nothing but the <laughs> truth, so help you God? <laughs> I don't think cops say that. <laughs> <laughs> you have the right to remain silent, you... Yeah, I was taking a piss when you called my name, so I was running up here trying to catch my breakfast. Where are you from, Brandon? Detroit. Detroit. Mm -hmm. How long have you been uh, in L.A.? Since February. Since February. What do you do for work? I'm a retail manager at Chic. Retail manager at Chic? Mm-hmm. What's Chic? Shoe store. Oh, okay. That's right. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Checks out the tag store <laughs> on his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, what's the location of that shoe store? Fox Hills. What is it? Fox Hills Mall. Oh, what's Fox Hills? Uh, the mall off the 405 by the air, in, in Culver City, right by uh, the airport. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. What's um, the employee discount like there? <laughs> <laughs> what is, is the employee it's, discount there? It's based on what the company paid for the shoe. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's different. It's different prices for, for every item. So wholesale plus 10% or something? Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Not bad. You know the shoe business. Yeah. <laughs> um, is there anything that you miss about Detroit? Yes, a lot of stuff. Like what? The uh, rent, 
Uh, <laughs> the food. Yeah. What kind of food do you miss? Corned beef, Fago, butter mate. Are you a Fago. juggalo? Fago. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Fago? Coney Island. Yeah, Fago's huge there. Yeah. That's, where, Detroit, yeah, that's where it's made. Yeah. It's made. It's from Detroit. That's Wu Tang Clan bottom too, so it's mm. just Fago. Crazy. Yeah. What's your favorite flavor? It's still a beverage. The Rock and Rye. Wow, that's that was what Malcolm was raving about. There you go. That's you know what that sound means. They're raving. Yes, they were raving about it. That's how that bird's name is spelled. Yes, and it's a raving. That's what that bird is. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, Brandon, uh, what do you do for fun now that you live in L.A.? Uh, I'm a big concerts, sports. You know, I can't wait for Thursday to go to see my Vikings play. Uh, Where, where's that at? At the Coliseum versus the Rams. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> why, is, why are the Vikings your team if you're from Michigan? Because I was born and raised not to uh, cheer for the uh, loser Lions. Wow. wow. I you thought were, you were going to say it's because you're Scandinavian. No. <laughs> So you were always a Vikings fan? Yeah, I've been a Vikings fan since I started watching football. Oh, okay. Hmm. Did you uh, leave a relationship or anything behind in Detroit? Nah, mm-mm. You've been single since you got here to L.A.? Mm-hmm, still single. Mm -hmm. You've been on any dates or anything like that? A couple. Yeah, how have those gone for you? Uh, not too good. Yeah? How do so, they do it? <laughs> is it a Tinder situation? Or? Nah, I really don't do the Tinder. What I'm do you old do? school. What I do guess. you do, these girls that you went on dates with, how did you find them? Oh, meet them in person at, at shows at, at the, the mall. You ever pick up a girl store, at the shoe yeah, store? Maybe. Oh, of course, all the time. Yeah, you have lovely feet. That's yeah. part of the game. You know? Yeah, Tony, you looking for a job? Your interrogation skills are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Do you look at Al Bundy as like a role model? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> you ever? Uh, you ever been on a police ride along before? Yeah, I, yeah I've been on a police ride along a couple of times. On a, a, on a bike? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sometimes I put people on uh, my bike bags, take them around town. <laughs> they, can't, they can't do that when they're handcuffed. So, so you've been arrested? Yeah, I've been arrested before. What for? for? Tickets. What Priors, of? please. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what kind of tickets? Traffic tickets. Murder. <laughs> <laughs> they do only give tickets yeah, for murder. Detroit, Detroit, yeah. <laughs> it's like a four hundred dollar yeah, fine. It's a pretty heavy fine, though. Yeah. Oh, sir, it's I'm gonna have to let you off with a warning this time. <laughs> Prisons are full right now, so uh, just don't murder anyone else. In your defense, the guy was being a dick. <laughs> wow. So, Brandon, uh, I, d I don't think I got an answer. Uh, what? what did you end up doing on those dates? Where did it go wrong? Where did it go wrong? Oh, I don't know. Just, uh, I ain't, the girls, mm, ain't shit. I don't know. <laughs> no, it, I, it, like, it's, no it, was, it was one girl I recently was talking to and I messed up on I messed up, though. It was my fault. Why? Did you tell her that she ain't shit? Is that no. why? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't shit. Sure. What did you do to mess it up? Oh, I really liked her and I was over-pursuing her. Oh, so. hell yeah. Over-pursuing yeah. Mm -hmm. Were you doing just texting That's her too much? Yeah. That one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not playing the game right, so, you know. Like a Pepe Le Pew learn. situation. <laughs> what? He's like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew, the I skunk who's little always little trying little. to fuck the cat and uh, uh, <laughs> Bugs Bunny. <laughs> it's like just borderline rapist. accidentally gets a white stripe down her back. Yeah, yeah. They're she walks under a fucking, yeah. <laughs> and then the skunk's like, I think I can fuck this cat. <laughs> yeah, like that. Brandon, you have any special skills or talents or anything like that? You know how to like yo-yo while skydiving or nah, anything crazy? Nah, I ain't got nothing like that. Uh, special skills? Nah. Uh, mm, not, not, not <laughs> okay. extra special. Do, do you have a foot fetish since you work at a... No. Nah, do you like, you like girls' feet? No, nah, not feet. No? I like to eat pussy. Oh, oh there you what go. The? There you go. Go to uh, his shoe store. Oh, Ladies, he will eat your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs shoes when you can get your pussy eaten? <laughs> Sir, I'm just trying to try on some pumps. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> but you said the code word. <laughs> there he goes. He got the party oh, started for us, everybody. It's Brandon Jordan.
keep moving along. He's on Instagram at Comedian Brandon Jordan. All right. So there you go. We're having fun. Oh, yeah. You guys having fun already out there? This looks like a new name. Make some noise for Yoga Leroy. Yoga Leroy. Here we go. Oh, yeah. We know Yoga Leroy. It's just on. Yoga Leroy, everyone. I do yoga, motherfuckers. <laughs> it ain't gay at all. All right? Matter of fact, the other week, I took this young lady from my class out. You know what I'm saying? Met her at Chick-fil-A. A nice evening, you know what I'm talking about? The crazy thing is she shows up in yoga pants. Who the fuck goes to a first date in yoga pants? I don't know, but I liked it, right? That wasn't the thing. The thing was, first 15 minutes, she tell me, I just got out of a serious relationship. I ain't looking for nothing physical. Bitch, you in yoga pants. Only physical things happen in yoga pants. That's why you gotta meditate. And I went home and I meditated to some you porn. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Shit was nice. That's all I got. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yoga Leroy. That's a minute. All right. Hey. So hey, yoga. Yeah. Uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, you really love yoga that much, I huh? I do yoga. Yeah. You do it a lot? I do it sometimes. <laughs> wow. It seems like you don't really do it that do much. Yoga. And I you like the on-stage nah, persona I of a tough guy that does <laughs> yoga. I mean, I love it. It made me laugh. I yeah. do yoga, motherfuckers. Like, that's like a great line because you seem <laughs> like you the only thing yoga-esque about you is the bandana wrapped around your head. <laughs> yeah, is that that's color right. gang affiliated? Yeah. <laughs> neutral. It's neutral. Purple. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You, you look like a racist uh, white person's police sketch of a black guy who does yoga. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Yeah. Okay. I, wanna, I, I don't know if I actually believe that you do yoga. So uh, how about you show us a couple of your uh, toughest poses right now? How about that? Doing a little bit of yoga for us. It's Yoga Leroy, everybody. Can we have some yoga lighting, please? I'm going to show everybody my favorite yoga move. All right, here we go. Oh, shit. Here it comes. He's laying on his back for you podcast listeners. Wait, I what? I didn't like it. His hands were in behind his head. I don't. <laughs> That's the move. Shavasana. You lay it on the ground. That's it. Wait, he said the name. Shavasana. Wow. God bless you. Shavasana? Shavasana. God bless you. God bless you. You just lay on the ground. It's what you do Sahasana. after yoga. After you do yoga, you just lay on the ground. They call it a yoga move. What is it called? That's real shit. Shavasana. God bless you. Hey. hey. It's pronounced Kavasie. Hey, pass I me can't that. believe I gave you the opportunity of a lifetime. You're in the main room of the comedy store spotlight. I tell you to do a yoga move and you lay down. <laughs> Shit's in, you have the you have the showmanship of the cue card guy on a late night show. It's incredible. I fail. I like okay. the yoga tough guy thing. Like I, I almost thought you were gonna do a whole poem. Like I do yoga, motherfuckers. Yeah. I you had me with that like immediately. But I thought the whole thing was gonna be along those lines. Like yeah. I feel like this is called the break know. yourself, and then you do this. Yeah, yeah, maybe there was should have been yoga moves involved in it. But yeah, I thought Tell when a story I did yoga moves last piece, time. You know. You did? Yeah. Uh, I so wasn't was here it. then. You weren't. You weren't. I can't do the same shit I did last time on the motherfucker. It, 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 it put me in such a meditative state that I don't remember any of it ever happening. <laughs> hey. if, if you did yoga, your comedy name would be Tupac Chopra. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Boom. Perhaps downward facing Snoop Dogg? Okay. Down face of Snoop Dogg. So yoga, uh, <laughs> what do <are> you? Uh, <laughs> so yoga. <laughs> I mean, it says Yoga Leroy, right? Do it, can I call you Yoga? That's First what it name, says. Last name. Yoga Leroy. Is Leroy your real name? No. Yeah. 
<laughs> is yoga your real name? Uh-huh. No. Do you know that position, downward facing sup dog? I n- I <laughs> you think I was going to get up here and do yoga moves for this nigga right here, looking oh. at my ass? Oh. 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 Only the nah, cops can It is a word. federal yeah, offense right. to call a police officer the N word, sir. Yeah. <laughs> he was a tranny last week. I ain't doing Whoa. no yoga moves for you, dude. You know I don't understand. Oh. Whoa, whoa, oh. sit down, Cassandra. Trans- sit down, trans- Cassandra. Oh, trans- They're called transgender, trans- you trans- asshole. Trans- I'm going to have this chick fuck the shit out of you. You say oh. tranny again. Oh. There you go. Very good, Cassandra. I sit down, you crazy beast. Transgender. <laughs> uh, fuck. Man, this place is chaos right now. I love it. This is what happens when you try to offend Jeremiah Watkins. He's royalty on this show. I know. I love you him. Never make fun with an officer that has clearly a vacuum extension for a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> so yoga. Uh, since you don't really do yoga, what do you do for fun? Do you have any hobbies or things that you do to chill out? You're a G- <laughs> you're <laughs> It's funny, like you, you seem like I you do don't do want to. Pr- I do do yoga. I do yoga. I do yeah, yoga yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, dude. Like you, do do yeah. you do do yeah. yoga. I, yeah. a, and these yoga. guys are really police officers. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Impersonating officer will get you into jail at least ten to fifteen years. <laughs> Most so, people yeah. I know that are really into yoga, they when they're telling me that they do, they say I do do yoga. A yeah. Lot. Yeah. Boom. Same. Same. Yeah. Just the very basic. I do do yoga. What else do you do do? How how long you been a genie that lives in a boombox? Woo! <laughs> 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 Joel Berg is here, everybody. He is live. That's good stuff. Uh, I, I, you know, I just take care of my son. I homeschool my son. And oh, uh, how old's your son? He's nine. Nine. Have you yeah. taught him the ways of yoga? <laughs> nah, he's more, he's too into Fortnite to fuck with yoga right now. Ah, I he's see. Fortnite kid. What's your, uh, what's your favorite thing about having a kid? He uh, can name him Yoga Matt. He, <laughs> yeah. He's into Fortnite. Yo, you fuck yo, with Suge Knight. <laughs> uh... Favorite thing about having a kid? I don't know, just having a little you, I guess. He's, he's just like me. He looks like Tony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of people don't know this. I still look like I'm nine, thanks to ForHims.com anti-aging kit. <laughs> Order now and save $20 off your first month of the Hims anti-aging kit. Lock in those looks now and get your first month of anti-aging for $20 off. ForHims.com slash Tony SC. I believe the SC stands for skin care. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that? <laughs> hey, listen, I'm going to check it out as soon as I get home for him. That, you, sell, you sold the shit out of that. Heck yeah. You can keep about. your nine-year-old looking like a nine-year-old forever. <laughs> right, yeah. Right. Lotion that baby up. And they, they, they grow fast. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, it was nice to, uh, nice to have you on again, Yoga Leroy. Appreciate keep it. rocking and rolling. There he goes. Yoga Leroy, everybody. Any of you officers remember that guy doing yoga moves last time he was on? Very briefly. Oh, okay. I don't. Story doesn't check out. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Make some noise for your next comedian, Christopher Stanley. Here we go. Here he comes. Christopher Stanley. My ex is a burlesque dancer. I found out because her burlesque Instagram page was suggested to my weight loss Instagram page. We're not together anymore, but we still do things that only fat people do for attention. I shouldn't make fun of niche groups though. Uh, I'm, I'm a pansexual juggalo that competes in poetry slams. No one's ever surprised when I say I'm a juggalo. They're always like, yup, clocked it, go on, let's move forward. <laughs> but when I say that, like I'm any type of a queer person, people go, oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't know. Like I tell my volunteer at like a dog shelter. I get it, because I don't look like a queer person. I look like a hot topic had sex with a Wisconsin militia. <laughs> I understand, I get it. 
Yeah, uh, but it's weird. I don't feel like I'm queer enough for L.A. Uh, whenever I tell people that I am pansexual or queer, they just look at me and they go, huh. So that's what it... All right. Jersey. Uh, thank you. How does that end? How does that end? How does that end? When, they, when people find out that you're queer or pansexual, they do what? Oh, it, they finish it. And they go, oh, oh, that's what one of those looks like. Uh, Thank you. And wait, 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 okay, one more time for Christopher Stanley. There you go. All right, so let's get into it. Remind me of what exactly is pansexual uh, it means in the mic. Oh, it means that no matter your gender, uh, I want your genitalia in or around my mouth hole. Wow. Yeah. I thought you uh, were just a big fan of Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was maybe you uh, fuck everything and then put it in a frying pan. <laughs> Fry up to come, baby. Mm. <laughs> pansexual is coming. So is it just your mouth, or like, what? Well, how does that work? Like, pansexual means. No, no, no. I'm more of just like a just top, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't want. Oh, like, selfish. Bangs. Yeah. Very, very. <laughs> Go ahead, though. If you, you got, if you give it, you gotta take it, baby. I guess, maybe. You were saying something, though, that means being, like, a top, and what, but go on. You were oh, oh, I'm saying that, like, I'm not exactly, like, a, a bottom. I don't want to get banged. I would At all. Like to, right. Yeah, no, 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 I don't want to do so that. So is that part of the pan part, or is that just, I just want to understand. Yeah, it I just means learn. that I'm, like, attracted to almost anyone, as long as you're cute. Mm. Oh. Will you give Tony a kiss? No. You want me to kiss? Brian, <laughs> why do you say things like that? <laughs> but anyway. what's the difference? What's, uh, what's, what's bisexual, then? Uh, bisexual means that I guess you're only into men or women, but I'm into, like, trans women. Oh. So that's where it comes into play. Oh, shit. Wow, I don't see Cassandra jumping no, up no, quite no. as fast as she hey, did last time, huh? We Wait, well, all right, all right, Cassandra. Yes. We got it, we got it. I think Brian's that means you're shooting straight. cum ah. over here on this side of the desk. Something else. Yeah. I th oh, I think that means he's straight. Okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> so, uh... Christopher, this is your first time on the show. Yes. Very funny. Uh, how long have you been doing stand-up? About a year. About a year. All here in Los Angeles? Uh, about three months in New Jersey, then I moved out here. And I uh, moved Jersey. out here in uh, December. Wow. Where South did you do Jersey stand-up in New Jersey? What's that? Where did you do stand-up in New Jersey? Just any open mics that were around there. Bat Berries. Heck yeah. I heard Bat Berries? Bat Berries. Bat Berries? Bat Berries. Bat Bat I live in New Jersey. I'm, oh, what part? Uh, a, a part. Oh. <laughs> Let's just say Ben doesn't necessarily want the, all the pansexuals to know about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> the pansexual <laughs> jersey scene. Last thing he wants to do is get out of his car and somebody's uh, sucking, sucking his me. dick. <laughs> <laughs> we can only I live in so Morristown. Oh, dope. Uh, Hudson County was where I'm Oh, maybe he does want somebody sucking his dick when he gets out of his car. Yeah, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize what might happen. <laughs> can, uh, can you explain I was like, fuck, man, I'll give you my home address. Dope. No, I just didn't know there was like a, that you could actually do comedy in New Jersey on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah, basis, around like right? Hoboken, Jersey City. There's a lot of open mics. Can you sign my I baton? I love that. Jay and Silent Bob, please. You should just come. Oh, back really? To work, honestly, if you're, <laughs> so. if you're currently, if you're someone out there currently pursuing stand-up in New Jersey, go to New York. Yeah, or quit comedy. What the fuck are you doing? It's yeah. it's like a quarter of a mile. But now you live here. For how long? Yes. Uh, go across the river that's, that's and fucking start doing it in fucking New York. What's wrong with you? Yeah. I could have. Sorry, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to people that are currently still doing it in New Jersey, you know? You I, alerted me to a situation. I thought I should address it. You've been here how long? Stop now. Nine months. Nine months. Yeah. What's your living situation? I live in Koreatown in a one-bedroom. Oh, cool. By yourself? Yep. Oh, cool. Very fun. You like Koreatown? I do. Do you like it? Let me ask you this. Pansexual man. Uh, is there anything that you won't fuck? Like, is there a specific race, perhaps? or uh, Anyone that species? looks like me, I wouldn't fuck. Oh. Well, there you go. I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. Carry on. Bit. You gotta give yourself more credit, Christopher. We wearing camo shorts like that, I can barely tell that your hips are gigantic. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank Looks you. like World War II down there. <laughs> Jesus. In the trenches. Yeah. Uh, how old are you, Christopher? Thirty. I'm. I'm gonna be thirty-one on Friday. Hell yeah. Mm. Thank you. Did I ask you what you do for a living yet? Yeah. Uh, oh no, you didn't. Uh, I'm an insurance adjuster uh -huh. uh, and also a Lyft driver. Has anybody ever told you you look like the dad from Teen Wolf? No. Look up the image online. You'll laugh later. 
Didn't get anything in the room. It was for the podcast listeners at home, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it now, though. It took me a minute, but I see it. Yeah. So insurance adjusting, that, does that mean that you go and you do a little bit of your own research, like Dog the Bounty Hunter, like you sort of just like yeah. climb over <laughs> people's fences and shit? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, no, well, I don't hop over any fences, but yeah, no, no, I do, uh, right. I do like, Obviously. oh, sexually, you better not. he's on the fence <laughs> with yeah. a lot of... Uh, We're going to get you anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I look at like damage and then I write estimates for it. Right. Can it's I a ask a question? Job. What's yeah. a juggalo? A juggalo is a fan of the... Oh, wow, there you go. He was right there. Wait. Fan of the insane clown posse? Oh. Really? Fago. Fago. Shout out wow. to Detroit. Whoa, whoa. Oh, shit, man. Okay. How much of a fan are you? You go to live shows and I stuff? Go to, yeah, I've been doing actually wow. like 12. Is that the Undertaker's logo on your arm? Is, is no, a... this is my buddy's clothing brand. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. You got a tattoo of it. Yep. You're such a loyal friend. I'm a loyal dude. Did you fuck that friend? No. He uh. won't let me. I've tried. Who would you rather fuck, Freddy Krueger or Jason from Friday the 13th? It's true. You're pansexual. You should be able to pick one. Jason. Jason. Freddy's gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. He's not a tall drink of water like Jason. Oh, yeah. Freddy's funnier. What's the, uh, what's the strangest thing sure. you have ever put your dick into? Um, it was a trans woman, but like... Just had like a wig and some lipstick, you know. Like it wasn't very. Uh, Boon shakalaka. Wasn't very. It wasn't very convincing. Not very convincing. No. 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 So it was, very... a, it was a. It was a dude with a wig and lipstick. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. All right. There you uh, go. So you're did it. Did it look like this with yeah. lipstick and a wig? <laughs> no. Red band. <laughs> All right. Well, Christopher, it was nice to meet you. Nice to Fun meet you. Times. Thank you. There he goes. First ever openly pansexual comedian on this show. I didn't even know what that meant. These things are popping up every week. I'm finding out about new things you could put your dick into. It still doesn't really make sense. It seems like so much like cash cap. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would just be bisexual, even if it's trans or anything like that, you know? Yeah. For $200, what's the weirdest thing you've stuck your dick into? <laughs> <laughs> that guy. <laughs> All right, we've had this young man on this show before, and uh, at least I believe so. I know for a fact that I met him outside one day, and I thought he was interesting as hell and had an unbelievable charisma to him. And then I went to, uh, I was judging a roast battle here on a Tuesday night one night, and I saw him roast battle, and again, very impressive. I can't tell whether he's a genius or he's crazy, so here he is for you, ladies and gentlemen, William Montgomery. He's something else. He's a special character. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise one more time for William Montgomery. I'm going to lose the fucking caboose. That is the train conductor with the gambling problem. <laughs> I, uh, I like it when my mom goes out of town because I get to sleep on her side of the bed. <laughs> I have a uh, friend who's paralyzed from the waist up, which is a blessing because he's a dancer. <laughs> I just spent 30 fucking dollars on the ecstasy. The least you can do is buy the movie tickets. It was an impression of my uncle in 94 before we went to go see the movie Twister. <laughs> so I'm uh, pretty sure I'm allergic to heroin. It makes my stomach hurt. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of hallucinogens, but I love how acid makes evanescent sound. Fuck yeah. William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. That's how it's done right there. I mean, holy fucking shit, William Montgomery. Every time I've ever seen you or talked with you, you've always somehow uh, wildly impressed me. Have you been on this show before? Remind me. I never have. I was, I've been signing up for three months now. 
Wow. wow, and this is your first time ever on this first show. First time. Thank you. I must have met you. I must have met you about three months ago when you started coming here, and I had a conversation yeah. with you at the back door for a while. And uh, back door, I was high. I was high on PCP. I'll be quite frank, y'all. Wow. Um, and then I don't let me it. tell this story real quick because I don't have very many great stories about a lot of the people in the scene, but I do have a special one with you because I was judging the uh, roast battle one night, and he did something that I've never seen in the history of that show. And I've done this show a lot, I've judged the show a lot, whatever, I've seen a lot of that show, I love that show. And he came out, and basically this was, you get five jokes each, go against the other, five jokes, one round. And let me tell you what this fucking maniac did. His first joke was garbage. The worst, hackiest, horrible, most horrible garbage in the world. And his opponent was literally like, well, fuck you, bitch, and like slammed him. And then it was all just diamonds and aces from there on out. His, he took his opponent out of the mindset. He, the, he convinced his opponent that he was going to win, and then you fucking destroyed like strategically like you made him think you were retarded that fucking bitch and then you absolutely decimated him like a movie villain or something like that it was unbelievable it's like a hustler it was it was it was strategic psychological warfare so william let's talk about it i want to get to know uh more about you where are you from other than the end of the rainbow I am from uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. How long have you been in L.A.? I've been here eight months now. Eight months. How long have you been doing comedy? Eleven years. Eleven years. Almost all of it in Memphis, huh? No, I, uh, I lived in... I started in Knoxville, Tennessee, where I went to college and ended up moving to New York, uh, living with a stripper named Darla up in Spanish Harlem. Wait, 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 wait. Was that her stripper name? <laughs> Darla? That's the worst stripper name ever. That was just her name. And oh. I Not if you're a Little Rascals fan. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Alfalfa. And how long did you live with the stripper in Harlem? Three months, and then I ended up uh, drinking too many Four Locos and <laughs> doing ecstasy with the guys on the block, and I had to go back to Memphis. I, I went to graduate school for uh, history, thinking I wanted to be a history teacher. I soon found out I didn't like history all that much. <laughs> all uh, about the future, man. Hey, when you were in New <laughs> yeah. York... Uh, did you be sure to hit all the open mics in Jersey while you were there? <laughs> yeah, funny story. I don't know if y'all are familiar with the open mic scene in Jersey, but it is second to none. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're hearing. Yeah. So, William, how's L.A. been treating you? What's been happening here? It's been good. I, uh, I live with a young lady named Angie. I met her on Craigslist. Right when I moved here, I was living in uh, Compton. You live with a lady named Angie that you found on Craigslist? Yes. That's I'm crazy, because I live with a guy named Craig that I met on Angie's list. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You, get, you, have, you get to make that joke once in a lifetime. That was good. Tell me about Craig. <laughs> huh. uh, but yeah, Angie no, it's been going Compton. well. I, I work at a self-storage unit place. Yeah. Um, what do you do there? I what? lease out. If, if it's a self storage unit, <laughs> then what the fuck are you doing? Just being creepy outside? Like, you got that shit or what? Because if you don't, you're fucked. I do a lot of that. I stand outside of. <laughs> Of the bathroom, I hold the one bathroom. One of the things, keys. I, one of the things that's really standing out to me right now is the roars that you're getting from the comedians themselves. Like it's sort of crazy. Normally they hate people that do good, and but but they they seem to all be on your side. You do a lot of open mics. You like hustle a lot. I I'm grinding away at the open mics. I'll be quite frank. I have this issue with PCP. So. <laughs> Half the time I'm at the open mics, the other half the time I'm down in Scottsdale, Arizona with my aunt, flipping over Hyundai Elantras, y'all. <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like you're our version of the Catch Me Outside girl. Uh, like, What do you say you're doing in Arizona? Flipping over what? 
Uh, Hyundai Elantra's. It's a surprisingly light car. <laughs> That's what you do on PCP? It is. Half the time we we end up in the Laser Quest arena just standing behind the smoke machines. The other half we are fucked up just <laughs> in the parking lot just looking for Hyundai Elantras. Oh, <laughs> Hyundai Elantras. Oh, my God. I wonder I didn't know what you're I'm saying. I'm never going to be able to look at an Elantra the same way again. This is crazy. Every time I see anybody in an Elantra, I'm going to think, like, I could flip your car if I wanted to. If I had a leprechaun with me, at least. <laughs> if what does that mean? It means you look like a leprechaun. Hyundai Elantra, easy to flip over. <laughs> if you had to guess how many Elantras you flipped in your life, like, what would that number be? I don't have to guess. It's 14. <laughs> Wow. William fucking Montgomery. This is impressive. You know what, uh, Tony? Yeah, uh, you know, Watkins. he made multiple <laughs> confessions of drug possession while he's been up here. But I'm going to turn the other way. I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Officer Watkins giving you a warning. Man, William, so what are, like, what are your goals? Like, what do you want to do? You want to, like, uh, be a professional comedian or uh, be an Elantra flipper? <laughs> I don't know. I uh, a couple years ago, I was living in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I was uh, general manager of a La Quinta Inn. And <laughs> I like the way this guy talks. And uh, I was selling a bunch of Xanax bars at around two seventeen. Uh, and and I. Well, is that a fucking joke? All right. I Joel mean, Berg is uh, mimicking uh, physical movements at him for you uh, podcast listeners. He's doing some uh, pantomiming. <laughs> um, well, William, I mean, I feel like I could talk to you forever. What scares you? What are you afraid of? Well, I have all these recurring nightmares where I'm <laughs> on... Uh... Elantre flips you! Fuck yeah. <laughs> we, have a, we have a new licky here. Where I'm on an elevator, and I, it's just this vivid, vivid dream, and I'm on an elevator, and I'm talking and looking at the people across from me, and the elevator shakes a little, and then it collapses. So I think to answer your question, uh, I'm afraid to go to malls now. I don't want to go to <laughs> When you wake up from some of these nightmares, uh, <laughs> when you, do you ever wake up like crazy? You ever, like, shock yourself he awake? He goes to sleep crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm going to take a shot in the dark here. It might have something to do with the PCP. You know, uh, I would love to invite you to the Ice House next Friday. Not this Friday, but the next Friday if you want. Cool. Wow. Cool. Cool. Wow, look at that. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, all oh, off of you. his Kill Tony debut, William Montgomery. <laughs> Follow him on Instagram, William.f. Dot Montgomery. Is that right? William dot F dot Montgomery one? Is that right? I guess so. So he got a gig? He just got a gig? Yeah, he just got a gig on Pasadena. Don't don't drive your Hyundai to the gig next week. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I live with a stripper named (laughs) Elantra. Elantra. I had no idea what he was fucking saying. You guys having fun out there? (laughs) Craziness. William Montgomery, his first time, been signing up for three months every Monday. Wow, that kind of compressed energy. That's what I love about this show. All right, let's meet someone else. Make some noise for James Bida. Bida? James Bida? Bida? Bida. Here he comes. All right, here we go. James B to everyone. All right. Thank you. How are we all doing? All right, so uh, a little bit about me. I'm Brazilian-American, 100% Brazilian blood, born and raised on American soil, which means a lot of people find me very attractive, but I'm very arrogant and hate everyone who I don't know. It's a real dilemma. 
Um, I may not look it, but uh, I spent most of my life being really fat. Now I'm not thin either. Now I'm just that kind of fat where you're not fat until you sit down. And then everything just kind of doubles up. Uh, when I was real young, they told me I was borderline obese. Then they told me if I wanted to cross over the borderline into obesity, all that's required are parents who can't read American food labels. Yeah. Uh, see, uh, when I brush my teeth, my torso still looks like a plate of jello on top of a washing machine. Uh, that's it. Cool. Have a nice time. James Beda. Heck yeah. First question. Yes. Why can't you be more like William Montgomery? <laughs> Man, I was so afraid to follow that guy. Yeah. He was funny. <laughs> it is, it is yeah. tough to uh, follow William, obviously. So thanks. Especially when you look like the top half of a baby pony. Baby pony? <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, like a baby centaur or something like that. You ever get that? Anyone ever tell you that you should have the bottom half of a horse? Mm, not, that's the first time. The first yeah. time, yeah. Last time you told me I was Edward Scissorhands. Nah, with something else, like with AIDS or something, right? I wouldn't have just said Edward Scissorhands, unless you had fucking scissors on your hands. All the charisma of Edward Scissorhands, that's what you said. Nah, it was better than that. <laughs> I think you naturally punch brilliant things down. He uh, looks like Mowgli if he was raised by Chihuahuas. Okay, yeah, there looks you like go. Looks like Gilda Radner if she was still dead. <laughs> So you were born in Brazil? Uh, no, I was born in America. But you are, your parents are both Brazilian? Yes. Um, what do you do that's Brazilian? Anything Brazilian about you? You like uh, uh, jiu-jitsu or uh, barbecue or something like that? Uh, barbecue's good. Yeah, uh, yeah no, I, 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 that part was sort of like the rhetorical question part. Uh, no, nah, I mean, I just try to ignore my past pretty much. Wow, why is that? Uh, I don't know. I thought it was You don't like your parents? Really you still have your mom's haircut. Yeah. Nah, I mean, uh, I, they're all back in Boston. I moved out here, so. Austin? Boston. Boston. I'm just trying to live my own life. How old are you? 26. Oh, cool. How long have you lived out here? Four years. Yeah? What do you do? I work at Dunkin' Donuts. I came out for film school. Film school ended up, film people ended up being kind of weird. No, I just... No shit. No, nah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't really like hanging out on sets or anything. Jeez, so, so descriptive. Man, you have the charisma of Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> With AIDS. <laughs> hey. uh, I don't eat much either. You don't eat much? No. No? Now, did you just transfer... Just the bare necessities. Just Duncan. <laughs> Red band. Red band. So Dunkin' Donuts is a very famous uh, Boston, you know, specialty. Did you transfer from a Dunkin' Donuts there to a Dunkin' Donuts here? Uh, I didn't transfer, but I did work at a Dunkin' Donuts in Boston. Right, so you were able to get employed at a Dunkin' Donuts out here easier because you were a Dunkin' Donuts, like, black belt from yeah, where the Dunkin' much. Donuts is like. I mean, I'm that's a, like yeah. Starbucks in Seattle. Dunkin' Donuts is Boston. I'm the Hicks and Gracie of Dunkin' Donuts. Right, for sure. <laughs> Uh, so how many years total have you worked at Dunkin' Donuts? Th going on three. Wow. And how many blood moons is that? between both Sun Dunkin' Donuts? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> or just the one here? Total. Total between total. the two. I, I'm sorry. Am I allowed to ask questions? As no, well? yeah, yeah. No, of course. Did you, was, the, was there like a manager at the Dunkin' Donuts here who was like, yo, that Boston shit's not going to fly. <laughs> <laughs> no, they we do shit our own way out here. No, not really. No, okay. Those are gluten-free sprinkles. <laughs> what do you notice yeah, yeah. are the differences between the L.A. Dunkin' Donuts customers and the Boston Dunkin' Donuts customers? Well, the Boston customers, they all have, like, their own Dunkin' language. Like, they just go in and say... Well, everybody from Boston sounds like they're retarded. <laughs> <laughs> That's the accent. When you, yeah. say Duncan, when you say Dunkin' language, what do you mean exactly? Like, uh, they just order... They all have a specific cadence when they order. English? Here, they're just like, oh, I don't I've never been here. What do I... They all oh, act yeah. that confused? Oh, jeez. Uh, You're saying the people in L.A. don't know how to look at a menu and read? No, they don't. What location do you work at? Uh, Hollywood. Wow. 
Like right in the heart of Hollywood? Hollywood and Argyle. Who's the most famous yeah. Dunkin' Donuts customer you've had? Good Meredith question. Palmer from The Office. <laughs> oh. She comes in all the time. Oh, oh my. Yeah, cops, do you want to talk to the donut guy? Or? I mean, what are your specials lately? I'll bring you a Boston cream pie next time. Is that a sexual term? or? Uh? What is a Boston cream pie? It's a donut with chocolate frosting. and. A Boston cream inside. pie is when you grab a guy from Boston from the back of the head... You kick him in the balls, he starts pissing out cum, and then you put him in the back of your squad car and you go, you're going to jail for life, buddy. Wow. I didn't realize you could piss out cum. Uh, <laughs> You've never been kicked in the dick by a bike cop, now have you? I pedal all day. That's all I do. His body cam footage clearly shows him kicking him in the balls till he pissed cum. <laughs> So, James, what do you like to do for fun when you're not dunking, you know? Uh, Making the donuts. I just uh, smoke weed, try to fight off existential dread. Yeah, you uh, look like you work fuck? more at pumpkin donuts. You know what I'm talking about? I don't like pumpkin This guy's wearing shit. a hoodie. He's oh, wearing, he like smokes pumpkin weed. Shit. I don't like pumpkin shit. What do you like? <laughs> what, you, yep. One just note on your set. You were talking about how you're fat, and you've like, what, a 24-inch waist there or something? I, I used to be really fat. Is that true? Most of my life, yeah, pretty much. What were you doing, getting high on your own supply over at Duncan? <laughs> no, I, 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 I grew up, my parents didn't really know about like processed foods and stuff. And mm. I just grew up on sugary cereal and McDonald's and... I keep getting these little hints of you really disliking your parents. Am I right? <laughs> I feel like there's a real underlying tone. Like, my parents didn't feed me right. I had to escape my parents. Like, all this shit. You seem like a, like, a, like Wyatt from Ozark or something like that. Like, you don't You, you, don't look, really you look like if Gilligan never made it off the island. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he looks like uh, he calls an escape room Thanksgiving family dinner. Okie dokie. Uh, so what's the deal with your parents? You ever talk to them? Uh, like maybe two, three times a week. Oh, what? wow. That's, 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 that's a lot. Me. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's like once every two. You close with both of them? No. No, it's weird. I'm uh, not very close with my dad at all. What does he do? I'm pretty close with my mom. He's a teacher. Oh, so what does he teach? Uh, well, when I was a kid, he t taught math. Now he teaches Spanish. Oh, oh he's yeah. He's a substitute teacher, so he does, he's not employed. Do all you call your dad dad or poppy? Uh, what dad. do you call him? I say, I dad. Think dad, yeah. dad. He wants to shed those Brazilian roots. Yeah. Dad, sometimes I call him father. Father. Whoa. Wait, you're from Brazil. You're wow. From, <laughs> you're from Brazil and he teaches Spanish? Yeah. I speak Spanish, too. Jeez, you don't care about Portuguese, Portuguese. at all? We're very close. Not that many people speak. There's not much of a need for Portuguese here. So. Okay, T good. Tell point. them that. <laughs> yeah, come on. Checks out. Well, well, what, well, under Portugal. what circumstance do you ever call your dad father? Like, what is that? Like, when you guys are, like, reenacting Star Wars scenes or some shit uh, like that? Father, like, I need to talk to you. If you're not sure if he can hear you. There's no, uh, can you put father on, mother? This is random. It's, there's no, like... Uh, yes, that deserves... <laughs> like, well, like, can you use it in a sentence? Like, talk to your dad and bring it up. Like, say it. Like, give me an example. Like, father, you, can you <laughs> hear me? <laughs> hey, what's up, father? Like, say that again? What? What? Just Talk right into the end of the microphone. Like, if, I, if he called me, I'd yeah. be like, oh, what's up, my father? I was just like, whatever. <laughs> you I use it like black it. people say the N-word. Uh, what's up? Father hey, what up, word. my father? You, you know what oh, I it's it father. You, you can't <laughs> say the hard R. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> father. father. You, uh, oh, yeah, my fucking father, yeah. you call your dad like you're going to Sunday Mass or something. <laughs> You know, what I think it is, I think I've always just like tried to make my parents laugh, but they just don't really find anything I find funny. So, yeah. uh, are they now, here uh, tonight? No. <laughs> no. Now, does, uh, does your father have a, uh, a fat ass? <laughs> yeah, does he have a Brazilian ass? Or your mom? Yeah. Well, they are Brazilian, so their asses are Brazilian, yes. Yeah, I mean, oh. no, I mean, you know what I mean, juicy. Yeah. Like, look at Cassandra's ass. Do they all look like a oh Cassandra? Oh, my God. Stop, <laughs> Stop it, Red Ban. You do have the right to remain silent, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. All right. Uh, James, fun times, dude. Nice to meet you. Tough to follow William Montgomery, man. But there he goes. Lots of courage. James Beda.
Back to the bucket we go, where it stops. Nobody knows. You know. This looks like a new name. Make some noise for Rick Seagal. Rick Seagal? Seagal? Rick Seagal? Is that Rick getting up super slow over there? Or is that just like... Yeah. That can't be Rick, right? No, blacklisted. Right? There you go, blacklisted. Sure. You and your brother Steve. Here we go. Here's another name. Make some noise for Paige Rios. Here we go. Paige Rios. It is the Samson song. It is the Samson, Samson song. song oh, we know her. Samson's. Here she is, Paige Rios. What's up, Comedy Store? How are we doing? Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> um... I'm on Tinder right now, because um, that's how my life is going. Uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like gonna lie to myself, like I'm not on Tinder to like meet the love of my life, you know? I'm there to fuck. It's Tinder, you guys, come on. We're all there to fuck, you know? But like, honestly, like, if I could just say like, the guys on Tinder are just like, too fucking direct with me, to be completely honest. Like, I'll match with a guy and he'll be like, hey, and I'll respond and I'll be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Next fucking message right away is like, let's fuck. Holy shit, dude. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, no, like, witty banter. No, like, small talk. No, <laughs> nothing, dude. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. Send me your address, dude. I'm down. I'm so fucking down, dude. <laughs> no, but, like, I also, like, I hate when guys give me mixed signals. Like, I fucking hate that shit. Like, like I'm casually dating sorry casually fucking this guy i don't have time you can go ahead finish it casually fucking this guy and like you know it's casual we're just you know it's it we both said it was casual and then like out of the blue the other day this fool like kisses me on the fucking forehead like like this most tender fucking kiss on the forehead i'm like don't play with my emotions like that dude like don't make me think that you care about me you fucking asshole you piece of shit don't fucking kiss me on the forehead right, wow all right Paige. Here we go. Coming up here, venting some of her uh, real frustrations, it seems. Uh, yeah, fuck you, dude. How dare you give her a tender kiss on the forehead? Tony, Tony. Yes, uh, Officer Berg. You look like a pansexual Selena. <laughs> <laughs> Gomez or like Selena? <laughs> the real one. Oh, the real one. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you, I guess. Wow. You're under arrest. I was going to say, uh, you look like uh, in a more adorable version of Mario Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you are watching Hotel Television. I'm Mario Lopez. It's on every hotel uh, when you. TV when you turn At it on. She uh, looks, like the the, looks like the leader of an underground softball league. <laughs> yes. You look like Dora the Explorer's lesbian sister. Yes. You look like the first ever uh, Mexican president of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Mostaza. All right. <laughs> All right, there we go. For the banana. <laughs> Le I'm glad someone killed the momentum. Uh, <laughs> move on. Yes, very good. Uh, all right, so Paige, you've been on the show once before, right? <laughs> yeah, like a month ago or so. Yeah. It was my first time. Uh -huh. You chose now, to come back. I did, yeah. This is where I've you started stand up? up? No, oh. I've been doing it for like nine months. Nine yeah. months. You yeah. okay? You want My some water? My voice is like not here all the way. Oh. I'm sick a little bit. Oh. If we put some checkers on you, you'd look like the cash cab. She is wearing all yellow for those of you uh, <laughs> listening to the podcast. She, uh, That's also why Brian made that mostaza joke. It is uh, mustard in uh, Spanish. I know this because the Google page oh, is that's up. That's good. Says I missed mustard that. Spanish. That's amazing. Because <laughs> if you're wondering why he band. would ever say that, it's because for those of you with Google, so you could go pause the podcast, get to Google, type in Mostaza, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I never find out that I it's mustard. But then you realize that you're not watching the podcast, so it still doesn't work <laughs> because you don't know that she was dressed like a, a little mustard tiny condiment. <laughs> you know, one of the little ones. Yeah. yeah. 
The little to-go ones, yeah. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. So you've been doing it nine months. Uh, you from L.A.? Um, yeah, Covina, so like L.A. County, yeah. Oh, there's the Covina like, drum roll from Joelberg. I don't like to claim like I'm from L.A. because it's not really like L.A. It's just L.A. It's like a suburb What do you LA. do for a living? Um, I work at two restaurants and I go to school as well. Oh, wow. What are you studying at school? Um, communications. Yeah, so that you can communicate with men better? Yeah, I really need help in that area. It really, that's really crazy to me. You seem so, like, sweet and fun. What do you think the problem is? You get, like, serious quick? You seem like one of those chicks that, like, you would go on a date and just talk about how you're not going to fuck them the whole time. Do <laughs> you sort of like that? Uh, just to let you know, opposite. I'm not going to fuck you. Exact like, it's like you just keep actually. bringing it up over and over again. And then you're pregnant. And then at the, the, end, then at the, the very oh, end of the night, you're mad when they don't try to fuck you. Like, he, didn't, he just gave me a kiss on the forehead. I don't know what it means. <laughs> No, no, like, well, I mentioned it last time. I just got out of a serious relationship, so I'm not, like, I'm not looking for anything serious right now. Right. How long was your serious relationship? Two years. Wow. I mean, it was wow, a long time. Wow, sounds serious. <laughs> what was um, he was, like? Why, okay. why did that end? Um, I don't know, like, Kissed we just went in different directions, I guess, to put it nicely. You gonna put he a baby me in me or what? Like, Fuck that. No, uh, we just like grew in different directions, I guess. We just weren't meant to be together. I, I still like, I have a lot of love for him, but I, we're just not meant to be together. How recent was the breakup? Like a year, like almost a year ago. Oh, okay. oh no. Yeah, you're not over it yet. I'm not. Well, I am, and, uh, I am, but I'm just not trying to date anybody. Like, I'm honestly I'm just, not. I mean, I am. I am, but I, I don't stalk him on Instagram still. Yeah. Like, the how, fuck? How What's many? his name? What? What's the dude's name? <laughs> Jacob, <laughs> like a super generic name. I'm not gonna tell you his last name. That sounds white. He he wasn't white. He was well. He's Mexican American. All right, we're gonna uh, have to talk to that's him. That's like that's like off white. Okay. <laughs> he, he's Mexican. Like he's Mexican. What does he do? He worked here. at the restaurant with you. He no. He works at a he works at Wells Fargo. Wow. Yeah. He works at a bank. Mm. Yeah. He's did did you guys break up? And he's like transaction denied. <laughs> 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 No, he you were like, we give me your deposit, fool. <laughs> <laughs> give me a baby. I need your deposit. <laughs> and Direct then, deposit. And he's like, insufficient funds. Insufficient funds. <laughs> no, we actually had like a joint savings account. And then like. Oh, that seemed oh, like a, a great joint? idea. Did someone say Wait, joint? It was? Within two years, destined for failure. Wow. <laughs> it was a, now in hindsight, it was probably a bad idea. But I think also like a few <laughs> months, like bef a few months before we broke up, he was like. <laughs> Should we like counsel her saving? Because we're not like saving anything. I, that was a red flag. I was like, should have known he was gonna break up with me like two months later. But you know, it's okay. I'm not hey, sad. could I get uh, your I half of the the rent this month a little <laughs> bit early? Uh, I've got some plans. Uh, <laughs> Think about going somewhere. Uh, everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Things wrong. I'm not breaking up with you. Everything's chill. Wow. Hey, uh, I'm just gonna be uh, taking this bed out of the house real quick. Uh, hey, do you want to go camping indoors tonight? That'll be fun, right? Uh, let's put out the sleeping bags. What do I do that, huh? Wow. So, uh, any of uh, you do a lot of spots throughout the week, stand-up comedy spots, or do you find yourself working at the restaurant mostly? You got two restaurant <laughs> jobs. Usually, those are nighttime. You work. No, well, like are those so both at I the was same restaurant. <laughs> How would I work two jobs? Well, you could be no, like I work a at two waitress and a, you know. No, I work at two different separate restaurants. Two yeah. different ones? They're like right next to each other, though. Oh. But no, um, before I started like school again this semester, like I was trying to get up. I was getting up like maybe four times a week, like really trying to do a lot of minutes uh -huh. like every week. But since school started, like I'm only able to do like two nights a week. So like tonight I come out and then on Thursday nights is my other night that I do comedy. Tonight. You look like the president of the Chicano Studies program. <laughs> You've taken that, right? Thank you. I have. I'm. I am Chicana, so yeah. That's so right. The restaurants are right sucks. next door to each other. They're like ones upstairs. Like I work in like an outdoor mall, so ones upstairs and ones downstairs. <laughs> Do you ever like double book a shift and you mm -hmm. have to like run yeah, up? Yeah, I've and had to work a double before. It sucks ass. Do you ever work at both of them at the same time? <laughs> like three's company. Well, there's our waitress. I, like, I work at two separate restaurants. <laughs> they are taking all of our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh she's dressed like she'd be on the sitcom Saved by the Bell Pepper. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I loved it. It's a good name for a restaurant. 
All right, Paige. Well, uh, you know, it's, uh, I feel like the curse of William Montgomery is on us, and uh, our expectations are now too high for everybody. Uh, so it was a tough night, but fun meeting you, fun interview, fun times, fun to have you on again. So maybe there's only one thing we can do to uh, battle the great curse of old William Montgomery. Let's bring up a little assassin of our own. He's the regular on this show. Every single week, this guy doesn't come out of the bucket. He writes and performs a brand new minute every single week. He did it this week. This is his fifth new minute this week uh, because he just did Monday and then Grand Rapids, Lansing, Detroit. Here he is again, ladies and gentlemen, Malcolm Hatchet. What's up? <laughs> I hate when niggas say, Malcolm, when you make it, don't forget about me. Nigga, you still owe me five dollars. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Pay me then say that shit. <laughs> I hate people who complain about dumb shit. Like, my leg itch. My feet itch. This a nigga around the corner right now in the wheelchair with no legs who would take that itchy leg and itchy foot and walk around town. <laughs> hey, you got some, you got some scratching cream? <laughs> You got a dollar? <laughs> <clears throat> My old girl crazy. You can, girl's crazy. Black girl call you one time and your answer, you cheating on her. She call you three times, she coming to your mama house with a gun. <laughs> Why you ain't answer the phone? I called you three times. My old girl was so crazy, she thought I was my mama. My mama beat her ass. <laughs> and then they became best friends and they beat my ass. <laughs> Why you ain't answer the phone? Cause I ain't had no minutes. She loved me, bitch would've called the house. Fuck yeah. He did it again. Malcolm Hatchet. Wow, is that true? Have you dated a lot of crazy girls? Yeah, a lot of crazy girls. Can I get some water? Yeah, have a water, absolutely. Thank you. Heck yeah. <laughs> well, Malcolm, you just uh, got back from an entire uh, week or a weekend with us, a long weekend. Extended. Did you have fun? Grand Rapids, Lansing, and Detroit? It was fun, man. Hell yeah. Dude, what was that little laugh that you just did? That? Oh, that's my laugh. I'm a little giggle. You should do that after every joke. <laughs> right I've been after told you that a lot. It. I, I did a lot in Detroit on accident. I'm, I'm a whooped her ass. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> just, just trying to be. I used to get tickled a lot, so the shit just came laugh. Hell yeah. <laughs> So now you're back. How's life been uh, in the 24 hours that you've been back in Los Probably Angeles? Cool. Everything Talking good? Talking to Sarai Joy. Yeah. Uh, eating a lot of candy. Oh, I got so much candy from Michigan, bro. Oh, my God. By the way, people were literally, like, when Malcolm got on stage, people were literally, like, throwing bags of Sour Patch Kids. Yeah. During oh, shame set. on you. You're killing my friends. Stop hey, it. Hey, I got on the stage in Detroit, and I came out with a joint. I was like, what's up? And... Somebody threw some sour patches in my ankle, bro. That was cool. And yeah. I was like, who threw this? And I was like, throw something else, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I call a diabetic stripper. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you were out, weren't you outside during the drive by? Or yeah, I was outside, bro. That shit was crazy, bro. Oh. It, was cra it was crazy. It was so crazy because I was just talking. We was talking. And it was a truck. And I heard it, boom. It sounded cool. But I heard it like five more times. I was like, oh, these niggas for real, bro. Wow. And then, and then there was a dude on the bike. The dude on the bike was a part of it. He was an actor. He wanted to throw us off, but I'm a nigga. He had everything to do with it. It was crazy. And he was so scared, he threw the bike. But I thought he was going to shoot one of us because he just looked like he was ready to kill somebody. Damn. I have no idea what actually happened. Yeah. It was crazy, bro. Why would the guy, the guy on the bike was an actor? So you're saying he was in on it with the he people in the car. He was definitely in it. Yeah. He popped out of nowhere and he... And he just threw, that was a nice bike. Niggas ain't gonna just throw no bike like that. Hell no. Nah. Yeah. Wow. And he took off running. Was it, wait a second, was this <laughs> Officer Watkins' bicycle? Yeah, it's a bike I've been looking for all damn day. <laughs> Somebody stole my bike. This guy took it in the drive by. That shit was high. Did it have a horn that sounded like that? Yeah, that's how I get the perps. <laughs> <laughs> That's a British uh, bike, cop yeah. bike. Oh, so Tony. Time. Yes, uh, Officer uh, Joelberg. I shared a room with Malcolm. Yes, oh, yeah, talk, each talk night. What was this. that like? It's amazing. I mean, it was. Uh, it's interesting to see the way he writes. Like every, you know, we we were napping every twenty minutes. He'd be staring at me while we were sleeping and <laughs> thinking of some new idea. And so, yeah. like all the shit he writes is like stuff <laughs> that's just happening. So it's interesting to just watch it all kind of unfold, like. 
No, he's just writing about all the current shit that's yeah. going on every night, you know. Yeah, great. no, it's continuous. You remind me a lot of uh, of hanging out with uh, Dave Attell, who is f- hilarious all the time. It's not like he's on all the time, but he's hilarious all the time. And uh, I didn't say he got that. that. He got that way from trying from be from thinking of what's the funniest possible thing. And doing comedy for at the same time for whatever, 30, 35 years or whatever he's been doing it. But he wrapped his head around always uh, being funny. And I can see you're in the beginning stages of doing that. Like you're working that muscle that way. Right. And yeah. it really is interesting. You are truly like a 24-hour workhorse. Like he can't help yeah. himself. It, quite often I noticed he was annoying some of the uh, perhaps a little bit of the uh, Kill Tony crew. Maybe Officer Watkins a little bit. Yeah, because uh, we were in a group setting and he was talking on the phone <laughs> and uh, we were trying to have a conversation and the person that he was on the phone with wasn't there and I said hey Malcolm, it's a little bit rude my friend. Uh, you might want to end the phone call so uh, we can engage with each other my friend. Yeah, we were eating McDonald's <laughs> in a hotel <laughs> lobby at 3 a.m. by the way. So uh, w- way out of line. Your, your, your manners at those 3 a.m. McDonald's pig Sorry. out 3 a.m. Everybody, everybody gets a piece of Malcolm but me? Come on, I can't have a little bit of time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to spin this negative on me. I just want some time with Malcolm. No. Gosh darn wow, it, Tony. You well, you should have stayed in the room with them. You yeah, next time we'll put you two in the room together. together. That'd be great. All right. No okay. And then next time I'll room with you, Red Band. How does that sound? <laughs> nope. Yeah, Red nope. Band. No. Yeah, how you no, I'm a grown adult. <laughs> Jeremiah <laughs> would draw a line in the middle of the room if he slept with Red Band. Red Band like, you guys don't want to sleep in the same fart chamber as Red Band? Yeah. Uh, Keto hey, baby. There's ham Get cheese. Get to know the real death squad. <laughs> hey, hey, did, did he, uh, did he sleep in, uh, uh, talk in his sleep or do any like snore? No, I was scared that I was going to say something racist in my sleep, <laughs> though, when I slept. <laughs> That's true. Just so, just so Michigan knows, I mean, every day he's like, I don't know what my minute is, and then yeah. like would figure it out that day. So just so you know, you know, he was thinking of it that day. Yeah, did you did you end cool. up saying anything racist in your sleep? Do you know? Yeah, you know? but he had his headphones on, and black people sleep with their headphones on. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> they and they uh, they he said it, he he's like it's all good. I wouldn't have heard anything. Uh, and honestly, his phone was off. They, he still sleeps with the headphones on. I don't know. <laughs> That's called sleeping comfortable. Hell yeah, Malcolm. Well, thanks. You did it again. Another brand new fun minute from Malcolm Hatchet. All right, back to the bucket we go. Let's do it. You guys ready to meet another human being? Come on, you guys can do better than that. We're coming down the home stretch here. All right, make some noise for Tracy Walker, everyone. Chase Tracy... Waken, perhaps? Waken? Walken? Waker? Wait, wait, wait. Nope. Uh, uh, no. Blacklisted. Oh, yes. All right. Oh. Uh, what the f- She's probably changing her tampon. Wow. <laughs> Why you say things like that, I have no idea, but uh, it doesn't really make sense. Bodes really well for you. On to the next one. It's David Wish, everybody. David <laughs> Wish. Here he comes, David Wish. Here we go. Clap your hands one more time for David Wish. Yo, how about that? It's actually Daniel Salomon. But uh, how y'all doing? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm from Boston. Yeah, Boston in the building. Um, living out in Los Angeles, uh, um, you get to talking to people. They say, uh, you, hey, man, where you from? Uh, uh, you know, if you're from Boston, like a regular guy, a regular guy from Boston. Uh, um, so where you from? Oh, Marty, Marty from South Boston. How you doing? You know, that's a regular guy from Boston. <laughs> I'm black. I'm from Boston. I, it's not like I'm from Chicago or Philly. You know, you meet a black guy from Philly. Yo, where you from? I'm from Philly. Yo, you know, he's from Philadelphia. You meet a black guy from uh, Chicago. Where you from? I'm from the Shy. You know, he's from Chicago. You meet a black guy from Boston. uh. So where you from? I'm from Boston. Yeah, pretty much like that. Yeah, yeah. All right. So what's your name? Daniel Salomon. What? Daniel Salomon. Daniel Salomon. Yeah. So why'd you sign up as David Wish? Uh... 
Eh. He's like, I didn't. <laughs> I just fucking ran up. Did you not? Uh, did you sign up as David Wish? Uh, I, sh- I sure it, as hell did. It's okay, son. Yeah. <laughs> Check so his ID, you can, officer. You can tell the truth. We're on your side. All right. As long as you're on my side. I, I, I did. I did. What did you do? You heard what me. Tell, I don't believe him. You I heard me. You heard me. So I come, I, you I came plea. up? To I, I plea. I plea. You're guilty? I, I, I plea. Okay. Book him for life! Yeah. Get him out of here! He's not allowed on this stage again! So Okay, <laughs> Officer Watkins. So, so you went up under somebody else's name? Come again? So you, you you went up under somebody else's name. You I wrote cheated. That. I wrote why that. did you? S- but my here's it's a oh, very simple question. If you just answer it honestly, then all did the awkwardness you write is that gonna slip? end. I plead. I wrote that. But oh, why? Th- okay, then you're good. This is uh, this okay. is uh, this Officer is a slap Watkins, on the wrist. Can you uh, can you, uh, you stop can questioning for a second? David Wish on this yeah. piece of paper and yeah. see if the oh, yeah, yeah. if the yeah, penmanship matches. I help me breathe. Help me breathe. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. Sign up as a David Wish. Sign up as David. Wish and we'll do a handwriting analysis. Yeah. All right, here we go. Hold the paper for me. Paper. Sign up exactly like you did. Right no, right do it right now. Right. Yeah. He decided to uh, take a wish, take a chance, it fucking and sail away. Solomon. All right, let's he, bring it over here. Let's take a look at this. No, it's definitely uh, definitely no, the same it's handwriting. Same, same handwriting. All right. Very good. All right. All right. Now, if you right. just answer this question, Officer you're, Watkins, you're please, good. for the love of fucking God, will you He's please good. get back on your fucking stool? This is hey, a huge we're all, break in we're, show protocol. We're all clear here, okay? All right. There you go. All clear. Yep. Give it up for the cop. Huh? Give there it you for go. The cop, yeah. So I'm going to ask you the same exact question I've been asking you since you got up here. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. Why would you sign up as Why would you David do that, Lynch? huh? Why would you sign up? Why would you sign up as a different name, huh? All right, the sirens. Jeremiah, the si- he's not the answering sirens. the question when you do sirens. that. You're, you're freaking sirens. him out. So to move up the uh, show on, let's just take a break. This with is that. a cool-ass cool show. That. Yes. So Daniel, I, Daniel, let me ask you a question. Why the fuck did you sign up as Why David did you Wish? sign up? Huh? Right. Why did you do that? Huh? What's going oh, on here? Yeah. Just answer so the good. question. You, you got Ben Bailey. This is great for the podcast. You got officer number 3415 from the Chicago Precinct coming at you. I've signed up so many times for this show. And wait, they, I love this thing that to see people keep bringing up, I noticed, the last few weeks. To where they think that... W- so let me ask you something. You've never gotten on the show before, right? And no. you were signing up as what? What was your name? Daniel, Daniel what? Daniel Salomon. And you, you were convinced what? That your name was unlucky or something like no! that? No! Yo, I have one of the luckiest names in Hollywood. <laughs> uh, okay, wait, wait. This whole thing's so weird. I wonder how it got to be so weird. Did you, did, have, did you put multiple names in the bucket? Come again with the Did what? you put multiple names in the never bucket? Never have and never will. Is that true or why that, do you that, say that? Well, we can look for the handwriting. I'm not that guy. I'm not. You could search that bucket. Detective Nothing Welsh Fugazi that. in that bucket. So here, so here you go. Why would you sign up I mean, all the as handwriting David really Wick? All right. Uh, can Look, you give me an answer, okay, an right, honest answer right, you, to the you're question? You're gonna beat this one. You out weren't of me. funny in the minute, so I don't know why you're okay. trying to be now. Oh, oh, oh. Boy, I, 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 I. I'll take that. Hey, hey. I'll take that. I'm just, I, I'm just gonna count that as self-defense. I'll take that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, why David Wish? I figured. Oh, okay. We seen this name already. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? I don't know. I'm just assuming. He's saying the bucket is rigged. No, I'm not saying the bucket is rigged. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, um, okay, hey, 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 I'm the one talking here. Oh, look at this. This is I like hate that. It's a WWE promo. Oh, look out. Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, oh my god. We got a we got a guy who looks like uh we got a guy who looks like Mike Tyson's aborted fetus. All right, we're ready to go. <laughs> Man, look how this is all <laughs> turned against you. Possible suspect. You were paranoid that uh that something <laughs> Five foot on. nine African American could have a weapon on him. We're <laughs> uncertain at the time. We got yeah, a three I'm foot two. Kill, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. I mean, so you thought what? That we try to get only new people up, and but you have never been pulled out of the bucket. I mean, we met William Montgomery, who I know has signed up every Monday for three months. We found out tonight. Yeah, I've, yeah, I know he's been signing. And up. And had he signed up as? Uh, 
David, David Wish. Wish. David Wish. Uh. I would have asked him why the fuck <laughs> if he came up and he goes, my name's really William Montgomery. Like, I read it wrong or something. <laughs> you know, you did that. Man, you got me on front street right now, bro. No, I bet. It's yeah. weird. It's an awkward situation. <laughs> S sus you're, the, you're, sus the, you're the only guest who I've ever spent seven minutes asking the exact same question to over and over again. How do you feel about that? Suspect is on. Oh. Suspect is on foot, considered dangerous, and could be part of the Jamaican bobsled team. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. All right. You got that. You got that. All right, Daniel. Well, it's just taken me so long to get anything uh, out of you, and I and I and, and you've gotten a lot out of me, right? I mean, no, no, no. Take nothing. a knee. No, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. or don't. I don't know. Uh, I mean, you know, um, it's kind of a bummer, actually. Yeah, it really is. Situation. We had to do a handwriting analysis <laughs> test. Yeah, that's a first. Well, you've gotten to know me better. You know, like now you know my penmanship. No, I've gotten to know you more. I wouldn't say okay. better. Okay. I think it's more All for right. worse. Uh, the more I find out, the more I don't like you. Right. Oh! What, what are those O's? Oh, what are those O's? Is this I, 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 Springer? Tony, I just got the uh, police sketch back from the station, and all it says is black guy on it. All right. Yeah, very, like Danny very strange. Frown. Okie dokie. Guys, uh, well. Hey, at so least we got to know him better, though, right? Yeah, you have. <laughs> got to. You know, one of the main things with this show that I always uh, preach to the people that get pulled out of the bucket, especially during the interview part, is honesty. You know, because honest totally. things always translate. You signed up in a disguised name and then corrected. Yes, Officer Watkins. Final question How do you say Hyundai Elantra? <laughs> If you answer incorrectly, you will have to leave. Take your time. Hyundai Elantra. Get this guy off the stage. <laughs> All right. Next time, sign up is your real name, and uh, hopefully we won't remember that any of this happened. Hopefully. There he goes, David Wish. You get called what you sign up as on this show. You're yeah. David Wish forever. David Wish AOL at Twitter. I don't know what it was, but I don't like that guy. Oh, he's back. What? Oh. Yeah, All right. Really yeah. Wow. Everything's the everything. There is no jaywalking on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I believe we've met this person before. Make some noise for Jessica Lee, everyone. Jessica Lee? <laughs> Jessica Lee. There she comes from the farthest part of the room. You guys having fun out there, huh? It's chaos. Anything can happen. This is one of the least produced shows in the history of all shows. One more time for Jessica Lee. Hey, what's happening? So I lost 180 pounds recently. Thank you. I'm kind of sad about it, though. He was really fine as fuck. <sighs> he had to go, though. He wasn't eating the pussy. Where's that chic guy at? Um, no, but uh, he did try to impress me one time. We went to my favorite takeout place, and he reached in. He said, girl, pick out whatever you like. I got you. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. He said, just as long as it's not from the hot food section. You know, we got that EBT struggle love. You know, I've been called white trash before. Um, I'm not really comfortable with that term, though, white trash. Um, I've, uh, I've been looking for alternatives. I've decided on white compost. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's still trash, but it's just nutrient dense. I got a lot to give, guys. I got a lot to give. Meow. All right, we're gonna do that. Fuck yeah. Jessica Lee. This is your first time on the show, right? It is my first time on the show. I'm so fucking excited. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't go right after William Montgomery. Right. right? What's but your real name? I <laughs> it's Jessica. J-E-S-I-K-A. K-A. -A, is that real? It is real. My mother named me that. People oftentimes like, think that I've changed my name. Um, spell it like that because I want to be black. Um, oh. But in fact, my mother really did name me that. 
I well, think she knew. Was Jessica already taken? Or because she wanted to be black? <laughs> no, I think she knew I would want to be. No, but I'm just kidding. Um, no. Is That's your mom funny. sort of a hippie? She is. Yeah. Yeah. What does she do? Uh, she has done like everything under the rainbow, but uh, most recently she was in the Navy. That includes oh, uh, William Montgomery. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> has she done yoga? Tyrone? No, but she used to date. Uh, what's that? I believe when you do everything under the rainbow, that's called pansexual. <laughs> I learned that tonight. <laughs> Uh, Jessica, why do you dress like a six-year-old girl that uh, was allowed to wear whatever she wanted for the day? <laughs> <laughs> this guy over here told me I look like I had princess curtains on. I, yeah. I do have princess curtains. Wow. I, I don't know. I, I, princess I'm curtains. I'm from Brooklyn. We just do things differently there. I'd be cute The there. guy said that you have princess curtains? That I was wearing... You showed that guy your pussy? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes, honey. You got princess curtains. No, I just sat in glitter earlier on accident. Hell yeah, I love your Lord of the Rings bag, too. You love it? No, I'm still talking about your pussy, not oh. that. <laughs> yeah. So how long have you been doing stand-up, Jessica? Uh, just under six months. Just under <laughs> six <laughs> months. I, I actually did my first set on April Fool's Day. What, Officer, Officer Watkins, what are you I, laughing I at? I just imagine she, that she calls her butthole Mordor and everybody's trying to get to it, uh, <laughs> put the <laughs> ring into it. I just had this thought. I wasn't going to say it out loud, but you came to me and, you know, these are just your, thoughts. Because I called your pussy a Lord Hi. of the Rings bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Hell just yeah. as long as you call my pussy. <laughs> Wait, say that again? <laughs> Wait, what? What's wrong with it? No, nothing's wrong with it. Everything You're like, as long as you call it a well pussy, do it. people mistake it for something else no, a lot no, of times? No, no. Extended oh, labia? Oh, no, just call it. Like, like, oh, my God, look at that wet pussy. napkin down there. Oh, it's gross. Oh, what is that I thing? I am a squirter. I'm you are? Is that true? It is true. Wow. So, so when true. you have an extreme orgasm, you pee everywhere. Uh, well, I Kind of, sometimes. Yeah, Maybe there's a little urine mixed in. It better yeah, not maybe. be public urination. We're not getting into a <laughs> no. squirting debate right now. No, Do you no. like anal? No, no I don't. No. Tony. No, I, don't, I don't understand this, this fetish with booty holes these days. Like, I want an old-fashioned man. Can we go back to eating the pussy, guys, please? Like, what is up with the booty holes? I don't get it. What, what, have, guy, what have guys been trying to do to your booty hole Everybody lately? Everybody wants to eat the booty now. Am I correct? Wow. Yeah. No, no, maybe that's it just your booty. Maybe it. Maybe it's I mean, it's a good booty. Well, I don't know if that's how it really works. Maybe you just have a scary-looking pussy. Yeah. You'd rather eat your ass. <laughs> I, uh... Maybe those princess curtains are I like a little... I like that uh, West Hollywood bear, bitch. I, I, uh, I met a girl who was a squirter once, and she shot uh, lemon lime soda into my mouth. <laughs> what? Fago. <laughs> wow. Fago. I squirt Fago, bitches. No. Mm. So, uh, Jessica, <laughs> yeah. uh, that's fun. You have a boyfriend? No, I let the guy I was seeing go. He was a... Uh, um, you let him go? What are, you, what, are you, what are you, one of the police officers? <laughs> was he in a cage? Yeah. Are you a contractor? Was he his was time a, up? He was a, he was a hobosexual. Was done, you, you let him go? What, is it, what was he, your starting pitcher? No. He was a listen, homosexual? If you're going to be a hobosexual... A hobosexual? A hobosexual. That's I don't have a cold. I said hobo. Wow. Yeah. Like, if you're going to be that, if you're going to be that, you know, make yourself, you know, make yourself useful. Like, either be really good at sex or do the fucking dishes. Like, something. Right. Wait, you can't be it, both. You can't be a lazy. Bar you're there, right? I know, I know, I know. People Looking like this and I have high expectations. <laughs> What am I going to do? Fuck me good or do the dishes. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, I'm going it's to uh, go do the dishes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can I know what that was. <laughs> Wash my dishes in my squirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your purple There's lips. Enough, uh, believe fuck, me. Fuck me good or wow. wash the dishes. Either way, wear a rubber. You could put me on tap at a fucking Mexican 7-Eleven. Is that really <laughs> That's true? That's true. It's so, so like, true. What happens? Like if a guy fucks right. you, a yeah. bunch of liquid flows out? Really? I mean projectile oftentimes. Wow. Is the it like the kind of projectile like if when when it's still happening or is it like the type of like pull out real fast like that you see on Oh, pornos? no. It's it's. It's happening. It's, it's just everywhere, no matter what. Motion. So it's like, like a sprinkler system. Yeah. Yes. 
Yes. You're like fucking I'm an broken. open end of a yes. fire hydrant. Yes. Do you put pee pads <laughs> down on your bed before you have sex? No, like I've a dog to, you are? No, oh, my God. We you actually got a laugh there until the end, Brian. You really... Uh, I was doing a Shark Tank thing. Oh. The puppy pads are not, you know, not uh, big enough. Like a tarp. Those. Wow. And, 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 you, and you. you keep wondering why people call you white trash. It's puzzling. I... Where are you from, Jessica? <laughs> uh, I grew up in South Florida, but I lived in Brooklyn for a long time. And you're from South Florida? My God. I know. It's I all, know. It's all starting to make sense now. I'm a cracker-ass cracker. W- what's your tattoo on your wrist right there? Is it? This is, I, is that your for vagina? people that have tattoos, Friday the 13th is like the little holidays. This is my little Friday the 13th tattoo. Oh. It's, it's L.A. And oh, yeah, also, all the famous holidays. It's also Because no, uh, nothing, nothing turns a guy on like cold murder. Yeah. It's my lucky number. What can I say? What do you do for a living? Um, I uh, I do catering. I do I uh, bartend private events. I do lots of shit. I also uh, I uh, moonlight as a uh, Airbnb maid. Oh. Yeah. I'm a single mom, so you know I like to uh, make as much money as I How can. How to give it up for the single mom? Hell God yeah, we God love God single God moms. God. For the kids, yeah. give it up for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> We you gotta do it. And hey, while we're at it, give it up for the troops. <laughs> yes. You gotta give yeah. it up for the troops. No way around yeah. it. How old's your kid? No way around it. Uh, my son's 16. <laughs> your son is 16. Here. What Holy the fuck? Shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd you have him when you were four? No, I'm an old bitch. Really? Yeah, I am. You Should don't seem like it at all. You I didn't. I didn't have him as a teenager. You have such a young spirit. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to figure out what my comedy age is. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to be uh, honest about my age. I of course. Of course. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, no, yeah. why would you lie I'm about 41. your age? I'm yeah. 41. Wow. wow. It looks like your squirts have found a youth. <laughs> Gotta give it up. Yeah. The, the, only, the only kiss. old bag on this stage <laughs> is the one wrapped around you for some reason. <laughs> Look at that canteen Thanks, from the Wild West. Does it count as a fanny pack? No, no, no it doesn't. Okay. You have a lot of keys. You definitely are an Airbnb maid, huh? Oh, I know, I it's know. Incredible. So, what do you like to do for fun, Jessica? Uh, what do I like to do for fun? Um, I am an avid hiker. I like to camp. I'm a national parks nerd. Hell yeah! No, I can cool. tell you. Uh, <laughs> you have an old faithful right between your legs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah! Wow. What's your favorite national park? Um, I am going to say Sequoia. All right. I like those big, oh, a sequoia thing. hard wood Well, half the precinct trees. is pitching a tent right now, so. Uh, hey. Huh. Who's pitching a tent? Uh, what's your second favorite? The other fa- guys. What, what's, uh, your, uh, what's your second favorite uh, national park? I love um, Officer Watkins is trying to follow up on these wow. questions. Make sure you're telling <laughs> the truth here. I, you know, I like. Um, You've never been to a national park, have you? <laughs> <laughs> No, I have. Okay. I have. Yeah. All right. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jessica. Well, uh, is your 16-year-old a boy or a girl? Uh, he's a boy. His name's Lucas. I'm really proud of him. He, uh, he is uh, wanting to be an architect. So oh. this summer he got a scholarship to go to Yale to study architecture. Wow. Yeah. Scholarship at 16. Okay. Yeah. Officer what? Watkins. I don't know how to tell you this, but he's a squirter too. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. want to know what, nothing. What are you teaching him? How to build fountains? <laughs> Mom, you're embarrassing me. Stop squirting all over the house. Oh, God. Wow. You asked for a super soaker. <laughs> so he got a scholarship for Yale. He did. Well, that's good because Lord knows you can't pay for it. No, right? I can't. <laughs> it, it's funny to I make cannot. jokes about poor people in this economy, right? <laughs> I cannot. But you know, he's giving back. He just he um he just went to uh, work with Habitat for Humanity. Oh, that's cool. So yeah. he's building houses. Yeah, he's building houses. Did, did they send him somewhere wild or? Yeah, we. He? Uh, he, he was in Watts this weekend. Watts. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. How wow. many watts? <laughs> he is like fucking two hundred watts. <laughs> that kid. He is. Can I ask you something Thanks. about him? I'm is he real? He is real. <laughs> you can find him on my Instagram at Jessica Lee underscore comedy. 
Yeah. Yeah, I have a yeah. bunch of adults follow your little kid on uh, Instagram. Oh, I mean, he's not a little kid. He's Your mom's a squirter, dude. <laughs> Seems like a great squirt. idea. <laughs> yeah. This episode brought to you by Squirt. <laughs> All right, Jessica. Well, uh, it was nice to meet you. Thank really you nice so to much. You. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah. Fun interview. There she goes, Jessica Lee. You guys want to do one more? All right. Let's do one more. One last one. She's the first one who touched me as she was leaving. So oh, she touched you? Right on the shoulder. Squirt all over you, man. That's good. Yeah. I don't think so, but. All right, I believe this person's been on this show before. Let's all find out together. Put your hands together for Andrew Rose. Andrew Rose. Here he comes. Walking on stage. This is your last comedian of the night. Put your hands together for Andrew Rose, everyone. How are you doing, everybody? Awesome. So, yeah, great. I, um, I had open heart surgery when I was 16. Yeah, I wanted a Prius, but fuck, what are you going to do? Uh, the reason I had the surgery is because I have a heart condition called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. It's an enlargement in part of the heart, sadly. It's the only enlarged organ I was given. <laughs> also a joke. Hashtag medium. So, when you go in for the surgery, they make you take a medical questionnaire to make sure you're not going to be allergic to anything, right? First question that she asked me was, are you allergic to anything? And I was like, kryptonite. And she goes, how do you spell that? J-O-K-E. Like, it's early. I'm going to let that one slide. The next question was, do you have any religious preferences? I was like, well, I prefer Christians, but if all you have is Jews, take what I can get. Can't be picky right now. Last question was, uh, are you allergic to latex? And I said, no, but don't tell my girlfriend. Okay. Andrew Rose. Have you been on this show before? I have once, uh, two, three months ago. Two or three months ago. Uh, whenever Natasha and Moshe were here. Okay. So. That was fun for you? I had a blast, yeah. Did we, uh, in that interview part, did we give you some advice to uh, start wearing a little tiny miniature backpack on stage? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you didn't. It was, uh, it was mine. I felt like I needed a parachute, so what are you going to do? What do you, uh, what do you keep in that bad boy? I, I would almost say that that sort of qualifies almost in this world as sort of a fanny pack in my, the way I label things, like a, a backpack on strength. Honestly, it's just, uh, it's got my fucking just random shit. Why don't we find out the truth? Let's play What's in That Fanny Pack. A Kill Tony uh, favorite game. All right, you're going to give it to us? I can 100% right. tell you what's in there. There's a pair of sunglasses and a shit ton of bracelets. Brendan, proceed with caution. There could be a bomb in there. <laughs> Brendan's going in. He's going to pull sharp that's going to poke us in here. Is there a rabbit in there? No. Wow, there's a bracelet. What does that say? That's a cock ring. Certified rosebud for uh, a rose comedy. What is this for like a dead kid or some shit? Yeah. No, Fuck that. What's it's, that? It's, it's just my bracelets that I have. My personal bracelets. Oh, that's your merch? Yeah. Oh, oh it's okay. for you. A rosebud comedy. A, a rose comedy. There's a 900. Wow. Oh. Yeah, that's Tons right. of them. You want me to throw them out in the crowd? No, go I'm kidding. It. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I got 1,200 of them for free. Fucking go for it. A deck of cards? Are you, deck do you know cards? some magic tricks? I do. Really? Is no. that for magic? You want me to do something? Hell yeah. Absolutely do a fucking magic trick. It's really all just bracelets. Oh, our first ever magic trick on the show. We got magical lighting for Andrew Rose. No magic music, it seems, but uh, it's a shame we don't have somebody that plays music on this show. <laughs> yes, everyone knows Heartlight by Neil Diamond is pure magic music. This makes total sense. It's because he had heart surgery. <laughs> oh, yes, out of all the songs like with heart in it. No, it's from E.T. Okay. Not well. yet. Can we take it out, right? Yeah. All right, I got it. Wow. For the audio listeners. He has taken a is? card out. Ben Bailey uh, has taken a card. I see what it is. Officer Walken sees what it is. The audience, Brendan, Red Band, all saw what it is. We all saw I it. Didn't know, yep. I didn't know Theo Vaughn did magic. <laughs> okay. Uh, ben is uh, putting the card on is top. Is this your card, bro? <laughs> yep, yep. Still on top for sure. I, I believe him. That seemed like a clean shuffle. We're watching him shuffle the deck. This is my favorite mm. magic podcast. No, it's not on bottom. No, it's no. not on top. But this is the crazy board. Everybody say jump. 
On the count of th three. Jump! Jump! Whoa! Holy shit, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Wow. I'm sure you podcast listeners know that when you heard Neil Diamond's part come in, that the magic trick worked. How the hell did you do that? You cannot lie to a cop. <laughs> that was the goddamn six of spades. Came right out of that. Wow. Holy shit. Wow, look at that. What are these extra cards that you put on the table here? It's just like Jokers. Jokers and all that okay. Let's see if he can get these cuffs off you. So here's a... <laughs> I actually have a, a, a really good note for your stand-up comedy. Uh, do magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's just better. Once you're good at it, it's better. It takes a, too long to get really good at this. How long have you been doing stand-up for? Six years. Six years. Where at? Uh, started in Oklahoma. Started in Oklahoma. Dude, go to Jersey. I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been in Los Angeles? Uh, actually, last Monday was one year. Wow, congratulations. So. There you go. Uh, so other than magic and stand-up, what else are you into? You seem like you ha you're a man of many, uh, you know. Bracelets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I do a lot of stuff. Uh, I, I play guitar. I write songs. I um, you I, drum at all? No, I do not. I do not. Um, oh, too bad. I'm not gonna. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, Andrew, this was a uh, this was a quick one because we are at the end of the show. So it was nice to meet you. Thanks for your magic. Thanks for your set. There goes Andrew Rose. And this was this week's episode of Kill Tony. So much fun. Make some noise for Brendan Walsh, everybody. He's in Chicago on Saturday at the North Theater. Is that right? North, North Bar. Uh, North Bar. Chicago, and then October 27th, he's at the Good Good Comedy Theater in Philly, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. How about you make some noise for Ben Bailey, everybody? Come on. This Friday, he's headlining the Improv on Melrose, the 19th of October. He's at uh, Bay City, Michigan at the State Theater, November 29th, St. Louis Funny Bone, and January 11th through the 13th at the La Jolla Comedy Store. Check out this amazing drawing from Ryan J. E. Belt, everyone. All these prints are available at ryanjebelt.com, uh, including some of the famous Kill Tony posters and things like that. Uh, Jeremiah Watkins and Pat Reagan have a brand new music video out. Reagan and Watkins. Uh, my boy, Jer uh, my name is Jeremiah. My name is Jeremiah. A yep. little straight edge rap from the new. Uh, you, you can catch it on the YouTube page. Just go to uh, any of uh, any of his or anyone's social media. Go to YouTube.com/slash Jeremiah Watkins, or just go to ReaganandWatkins.com. Yeah, why not do that? Reagan is spelled R-E-G-A-N-A-N-D-W-A-T-K-I-N-S. Yeah. How about one more time for Jeremiah Watkins, everybody? The legend. How about one more time for the great Joelberg, Joel Jimenez, huh? Joelberg's on all social media sites and mostly sorry. Anything else, Joel? Yeah, I just want to say we love Michigan. Thank you to Nicholas, Joe, Mason for hooking me up with drum sets. And shout out to fucking Founders Brewing, man. Luke Sass, he took care of us out there. You're Thank damn you. right he did. It's so much fun at Founders Brew, uh, Brewing Company. We were at the ninth largest brewing company in the United States right there in, yeah. uh, in uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. We had a great lunch, great time, great shows. Uh, Officer Watkins. Also, Jay Larson is on Jeremiah Wonders this week if you're a Crab Feast fan, so uh, check that out as well. All right. Anything else uh, from you guys? Thank I you. I should say that there's new episodes of Cash Cab on yeah. Saturdays. Whoa! <laughs> Truly one of show. my favorite shows ever. Yeah, it's great. Uh, I, 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 I Has every, there been? E every time I see you, I am literally holding back uh, the entire time uh, wanting to talk about how much <laughs> I love that show. So, uh, it's it's always a great show. I appreciate yeah. it. This yeah. is a great show, too. Has this is fucking fun as hell, man. Thanks yeah, for me thank you. Uh, Has there been a porn version called Smash Cab? Smash. Like the oh. Bang Bus? <laughs> well, my mom just heard the Cash cab. cab announcement, and she just squirted, so. Ah, shit. <laughs> Uh, don't forget that uh, Robinhood is an amazing app. You yeah. get a free stock. Go to the ktshow.robinhood.com right now. Get free stock. How crazy yeah, is that? That's crazy. Who knows? Get that Apple stock. Uh, and uh, get some anti-aging cream from forhims.com. Go yeah. to forhims.com slash Tony SC.
And get the Kill Tony shirt out in the lobby. Yeah, so. absolutely. And don't forget, episodes 299 and 300 of this show, Kill Tony, are happening live in San Francisco on October 12th. That's a really, really, really big night for us. A lot of the crew here is going up there. I feel like a lot of the main comedians from here are going to go up there. There's always a, an amazing... We've always had amazing, amazing sold-out shows in San Francisco. It's sort of like... Uh, I don't know like what it's comparable to. It's like uh, our... Texas. I guess something like that, but I don't know. It's like home what, away from home. What band has like a connection with a city or something like that? It's like that. Boston. Well, Jesus. Ah. Yes, it's like Boston. Yeah, like what <laughs> Boston plays in Boston. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. I bet that's it. crazy. Yes. There you go. And I'll be in Chicago this Saturday. Get tickets. That's right. Park. Um, and uh, that's right. And I'm going to Toronto tomorrow morning. I have five uh, solo stand-up shows. Uh, two or three of them are already sold out. Kill Tony's sold out. Um, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So thank you, live audience, for being here tonight. We love you. See you guys. Have a great night. <laughs>